Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Openly Hostile Opinions. I'm Jay, that's Casey, and with us here is our special friend. <laughs> Direct from the Clinton County Medium Security Correctional Institute, <laughs> Rockview Roy. <laughs> Rockview Roy. Direct from uh, Clinton County's Medium Security Correctional Facility. Yes. He's uh, out. He's back. We've missed him. Rockview Roy, ladies and gentlemen, from Rockview Prison. He's lost a lot of weight, sucked a lot of dick. <laughs> uh, we also so, so have you shanked any motherfuckers? <laughs> two. two. Sh shanked two motherfuckers? Yeah. It's, uh, we call him Rockview Roy, or a.k.a. Two Fingers Slap in the Arm, a.k.a. Brown Sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> sunshine. It's usually white. <laughs> Yeah, he's a heroin addict. But anyways. <laughs> recovering. <laughs> yeah, recovering. We'll heroin go with addict. recovering. We've been friends with him for a long time. I'd say over 10 years, maybe. So, so uh, since he is currently on parole, there will be no drinking for uh, for Roy here. Right. Yeah, we, uh, <laughs> we sort of feel bad. What, what, what's the shot you get in the ass called? Uh, Vivitrol. Vivitrol. And what does Vivitrol do for those of us who haven't, uh, you know, ridden the white pony? <laughs> uh, it blocks opiates. So you literally can't get high. <laughs> talk, talk to the I am. <laughs> <laughs> talk to the robot penis. I know I know. it's hard to remember not to turn and talk to people, but yeah. We are handsome looking, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at this, man. Your, your head's kind of got like the light shining off yeah, of it like now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he can't have anything. He can't have. Like, he can't have about nicotine. That's about it. And caffeine. Like, and caffeine. Yeah. Like he was, uh, yes, yeah, him with his energy energy drinks that he got from my wife. She's his, she's his new pusher. <laughs> His, his caffeine pusher. So he can't he can't try the beer of the week, or his brain will go crazy. He'll probably start like puking some like green pea soup, like in the Exorcist movie. So we're gonna drink in front of him. <laughs> and if he said watching this, this is non-alcoholic. <laughs> yes, it is non-alcoholic. We yeah, never, we ever we want to underline that that if uh, his parole officer or whatever the fuck they're called <laughs> is watching this, that is non-alcoholic. He is not doing drugs, but he's still sucking dick. So, anyways, <laughs> I don't think there's any laws against that in Pennsylvania. No, I don't think Texas there maybe. There probably should be. I think you can fuck animals in Pennsylvania, but I'm not sure. No, I don't. I don't think you're allowed to. Yeah, because no. I think a couple of people got caught doing that around here. I gotta turn your gain up a little bit. Who me? Are you gonna make this shit louder? <laughs> Great. I'm gonna make you louder. God, it's oh, all, all right. the fucking caffeine you do. <laughs> all right, so let's get on to the fucking uh, the fucking beer of the week, which now all my buttons moved to. Yeah, the volume is really quiet that. today. Yeah. yeah, everything's quiet. Yeah, so today we have for our beer of the week we have Rusty Rail Waffle Sauce Imperial Maple Pecan. I am not looking forward to this. I do not want to drink it at all. Jay kidnapped my kids and won't give them back until I do it. <laughs> I like trying these weird ones. They're just strange. Traditionally, maple syrup is meant to be paired with fresh, thick waffles. We feel the flavor pairs better when the savory pecans. And our choice of blend of roasted malts. Whatever, let's try it. All right. Cheers, motherfucker. Sorry, Greg. Right in front of Greg's face. <laughs> Greg's going to gonna drink his it. energy drink. Oh, man. It tastes like maple syrup. Yeah, it does. That's all it tastes like. It tastes like maple syrup. Like watered down maple syrup. Like you have the Aunt Jemimas, and then you have the shit you buy out of the back. The, of, the sure fine. Of a van with no windows. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? You know what it tastes like? Hey, I'm like? not the one that went to jail for heroin. <laughs> I'm yeah, perfectly that's kind fine. of a fair question. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine. You know what? You know what it tastes like to me is those, uh, those shitty maple candies that are shaped like the fucking yeah. maple leaf. It's very it's it's eight point two, so it's it's very high alcohol content. But it is I it's don't know not bad. If you like that kind of stuff, I guess it's okay. I just I'm not. It's, it's definitely too sweet. a bit. It's a bitch beer. Yeah, it's too sweet. I don't really like it. If I would rate it, I'd give it. I'd say three out of five uh, dirty used needles. <laughs> you know what the sad part is? What he comes up with those off the top of his head. I know I do. I was like, what can I out? Oh, I have a heroin addict sitting next to me. <laughs> so, uh, since since we're here, uh, we have to get this out of the way. So, what was prison like? <laughs> um, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Come on, man. T tell me. We There's were no out, secrets on this before, show. Before the show, we were out there talking about... Um, I was like, so was there any female prison guards? <laughs> well, yeah. And he said there was one. Tell me what you told me. <laughs> Are they even uh, remotely attractive? That's the question. He said this yeah, one th was. This one was. And... Uh, she came in on uh, what did I say? In dress clothes. It, oh yeah, she came in in, in in her street clothes, no uniform and all that stuff. 
She had this ass, right? <laughs> she had that, Oni- uh, that right. dumper on An her? onion ass. So yeah. good it makes you cry. So uh, <laughs> there was a line to get in the showers that day. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, yeah. dude. I bet, man. So uh, question uh, uh, about about your masturbatory practices in prison. Do you, do you ever do it in a room with your cellmate? No. No, uh, is, that, is that just strictly no, forbidden? No, yeah, you get shanked for that. <laughs> I was curious about that. How how often did you witness shanking? Never. Never? No. Never saw a shanking? No, Pennsylvania prisons are kind of PC. <laughs> kind of PC. Yeah. It must it must be getting so bad with political correctness that it's even affecting our prison systems <laughs> now. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, I mean, I mean that shit kind of happened, but uh, I never saw it. So. Mm. It's it's sort of weird looking. I was on, uh, I was too busy getting high. <laughs> too busy <laughs> in in the prison. In the prison. Yeah. yeah, he he said that there's drugs in there. They don't uh, really. Well, try it's drugs. not really a surprise. Did you have any toilet wine? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Um, but we uh, we did make hooch in uh, Camp Hill. It was delicious. Wait, what is it? Hooch. hooch. What the fuck is hooch? Made out of Just... rotten fruit and bread and yeah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> rotten garbage bag. Or, or does it does it have to be rotten fruit? Uh, no, I mean it probably it's, does. It get does rot. In there. Do you get ramen noodles in there? Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, I, I, I eat a lot of fucking noodles. Because I see where they make those little fucking packets with like cut, chopped up like Vienna sausages in it, and you mix yeah. it with hot water. Yeah, and like Cheetos. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll have to cook something for you guys. You know, oh god. I'm, you know, what? actually, we should do that for a show. We, we should. should have prison cooking with two finger arm tap here. Yes, <laughs> yes, we should. Uh, Chef, Chef Roy shows us how to make everything from prison style. That actually, was, I think that's a should, great yeah. segment. I uh, think we should do that as a patron only after party hangout. Actually, that's a really fucking good idea. That that, that should be our next after party hangout. Uh, Greg's pretty much going to be joining us. His real name's Greg, but uh, <coughs> we call him Rockview Roy. Anyway, uh, he's going to be joining us here as long as uh, when he gets his job, if he if he can get hired being an ex-convict. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he will be joining us here as our third host so you should be seeing quite a bit of this sexy motherfucker right here yeah because i texted jay today and i was like when's he coming over i gotta hide my tv and my money <laughs> <laughs> it's like that motherfucker steals my tv I swear to god i do i need a tv actually so. you need a tv i've got really? an old school crt you, you sell no, i need your tv <laughs> i need yeah he probably has a shank on him right now Actually, he already shanked me twice under here. I'm just, you know, keeping a straight face. <laughs> Speaking of food, though. The this show is, must go on. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of food, though, this is sort of a little off, to- off topic. But I witness an awakening today. <laughs> oh, good Lord. <laughs> so I saw this thing on the Internet where someone was stalking KFC's Twitter. Of course they were. Okay. And they noticed that KFC only has 11 people it's following. All right. So they went to who they were following and for some reason they followed all five of the spice girls and a guy named herb six other guys named herb, herb. <laughs> herbs yeah. and spices yeah so they have 11 herbs and spices like what the fuck kfc are you doing and kudos to the the pothead that you know probably makes bongs out of avocados and shit to recognize that i saw that today i was like i got to mention that on the show that's fucking brilliant Got to give it to you out there, KFC. That was pretty good. <laughs> All right, so we we have a, a special story I want to talk about today with our with our buddy here. Oh god. Um, well, it's something that should hit him close to home. An Indiana County just halted a life saving needle exchange program because you know the Bible. <laughs> what? What? What did needles have to do with the Bible? Uh, here's the deal. As a man, he injected it, on the fifth day. <laughs> that was the eighth day. Oh yeah, eighth day. Well, as a man who who had a bit of a problem with uh, with needles, I mean, one of the ways to prevent you know dying from diseases is going being able to go and buy clean needles. Correct. Right. <laughs> and needle exchange programs are something that they do in Pennsylvania. Am I right? Uh, not where I was from. No, they don't do that. That's why I have Pepsi. Wow, there really are no secrets on this show. <laughs> anyway, uh, you really have Hep C? Yes. How can I can I get it from you right now? <laughs> no. Don't if, poop. Don't no. poop. If he bleeds in your no. mouth, don't. Yeah. Oh, okay. Don't poop in my toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I, like if you leave here and you have to poop, I, you're not going into my toilet. <laughs> no, it's, it's just through blood. It's he's, just through blood. He's he's gonna get the drugs. It's not like a it's not like a death sentence anymore. Yeah, oh, okay. you just get get a couple of rounds of antibiotics and you're good to so go. So it's sort of like Pretty AIDS. Much. You have it, but you can live with it. Yeah, sort of, <laughs> sort of, sort of. So anyway, the, well, the reason is the the Lawrence County Commissioner's reasoning is Trevor says you're sexy. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> he works out. Yeah, you know the prison. What that's, else that's did he kinda, have to do? That's kind of what you do. You get high and work out, <laughs> and get really shitty prison tattoos. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
He does. They're he does rough. have some shitty, shitty ones. I'm gonna have to have my wife clean him up after he gets that whole Hep C thing dealt with. Right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> don't use my toilet. So, so the Lawrence County Commissioner's Office uh, so stated that the reason they wanted to end the needle exchange program is a moral issue and the Bible. It was a moral issue with me. I had severe reservations that were going to keep me from approving that motion, County Commissioner Rodney Fish, who voted against the program. I did not approach this decision lightly. I gave it a great deal of thought and prayer. My conclusion was I cannot support this program and be true to my principles and beliefs. If I shut up... Uh, oh, he, cro he quoted uh, an actual line from the Bible, specifically 2 Chronicles 7, which states, If I shut up heaven, there be no rain. Or if I command the locusts to devour the land. Or if I send pestilence among my people. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face. And turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heavens and I will forgive their sin and I will heal the land. What's so that have to do with needles? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like. I'm lost. So the like, pestilence on the land, I guess. But They, they crocheting? They needleworking? Like, what's going on? They Amish? I don't know what the fuck that nonsense is. <laughs> I don't know. But how the fuck are you going to sit there and like... I, isn't it the whole separation of church and state sort of a thing i don't know apparently not. I, I i don't even know what's going on these days i was reading that schools aren't even celebrating halloween anymore because it's too offensive so i they're Who calling the fuck's it, it offensive to I, the, the way they dress i don't know and and the funny thing is is the more i'm reading about this the more it's reminding me of the movie demolition man <laughs> where only a few things are allowed because everything else is either hurtful or offends someone. Like in, in Demolition Man, you're only allowed to eat at Taco Bell. Yeah. <laughs> That's it because it's like... And they dress up for the occasion. Yeah, and like they dress up like really fancy and stuff like that. There's no guns. There's no violence. You're not allowed to have sex. I'm just like, did someone watch... Like, did some politician watch Demolition Man and was like, you know what? We're going to make it like this. The only thing we're missing is the three seashells. <laughs> I, I can't. Just, I, I can't don't. say much. I, I bought a bidet. Oh, I did. Yeah, I, I seen did. that. What? what the fuck is? In I have court? hemorrhoids. Yeah. Would you buy a bidet? For I the have hemorrhoids. Because I heard you, when you get a bidet, you're not supposed to use it. It's just a sign of royalty. No, 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 no. It's a, it's a thing that attaches to your toilet seat and it squirts water on your butt. Oh, so you didn't get like one put in. You didn't have like Lowe's come no, over. No, no, no. grabbed one for the bidet it section. Was, it was, was a like, $20 thing that hooks up to the water line on your toilet. You turn it on and... You don't uh, buy a bidet for 20 bucks, Jay. This is how you get hep C. <laughs> right. No. That's, that's how I got it. Lick, <laughs> licking his wounds. <laughs> oh, God. No, but I, I bought one, man. I got hemorrhoids, you know. it's That shit sucks. You try to wipe, wipe with hemorrhoids, it's yeah. like... It's like lighting firecrackers <laughs> off in your ass. When you get hemorrhoids, do they tell you how many you have? I never asked. Because <laughs> that's the first thing I would ask. I'd be like, how many do I have? And I'd probably name them all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm calling this one Gomer Pile. <laughs> I would hit my fucking didn't sound in my rim shot, but my the fucking app got updated. Now all my things are in different spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh Holy my shit, God, that, that was loud. That was loud. That one was loud. <laughs> We have a, we've been doing this for over a year now. We still don't know how to, you know, equal out all the sound and everything like that. <laughs> no, but I don't. I, oh, yeah, See, you know, that favorite, was a quiet. My favorite sound clip. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with uh, things. People just aren't allowed to do anything anymore. If you want to do something, you're not allowed to do it. And like I said, uh, those schools that were doing getting rid of Halloween or whatever like that, they're replacing it with Spirit Orange and Black Spirit Week or some bullshit. Well, how gay is that? I know. I shouldn't and, like, say gay. They had, get his um, there was there was even one college, and I forget which one it is, they had a practice Halloween day so people knew what it was offensive and what wasn't when they dressed up as stuff. Like, yeah. God, people need a fucking helmet. <laughs> I know, dude. Like, people need to get a fucking yeah, life. There's man. something to tell you about. <laughs> My uh, kids were in the uh, thanks or the Thanksgiving, the Halloween parade this year, and uh, they were on the back of a truck and they were promoting the restaurant that my uh, parents own. And uh, as they come through, they tell tell them all, "Do not throw candy. You can't throw candy towards the kids, you know, to the kids anymore. You have to walk out and hand it to them because apparently the next requirement will be if you want to watch the parade, you're going to have to put on water wings, a helmet, and uh, knee pads. I know. Like, hey, give me water wings while I eat my soup. I might drown in it. <laughs> Fucking retards. Like, you, you know what? Since they're doing all this and making people stupid, you know what? They should be, you know, throwing out extra chromosomes because that's all you're doing. Don't, don't throw out the candy. Throw out the extra chromosomes because people are fucking retarded. 
And that's the best thing about parades. You went and you got candy thrown out. Yeah, I mean, who wants to sit there and watch all that bullshit go by for two hours? I know. I've seen a fire truck before. Thanks. Yeah, like, who gives a fuck about a fire truck? If that motherfucker can't turn into a Transformer, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to see fucking Optimus Prime and Bumblebee and all those motherfuckers. And that reminds me, they're making a Bumblebee movie. And of guess, course they are. And guess who's in it? Who? My people. favorite <laughs> people. Haley Steinfeld. <laughs> Who was that? Oh, it's some, some girl that he's currently in uh, love with. See, it was celebrity. Jennifer Lawrence. Now he went on to this one. Oh, she's my celebrity crush, man. A- after the show, I'll show you a picture of her. She's fucking... Ugh. <laughs> and then I can use your bathroom, right? No, you can't poop. <laughs> can't poop. No, no semen in the bed. Yeah. No, no, no semen in his walls. I would show you on the computer here, but this computer is uh, afraid it'd explode. <laughs> so after the show, I'll show you a picture of her. She's yeah. very, she's very Jewish looking. Let's just say that. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> For those of you who noticed that our our video has been a little choppy and shit, we do have a new motherboard coming next week. Thanks to all you patrons. Yes, thank you very much. For those Good of job. you who uh, actually, why don't we take a moment to plug some shit? Well, but, I'm at it. Butt plug. Jesus. If you want to... <laughs> if God damn it. Man, Tuffy's in love with you. Roy is sexy. He's a, anyway, uh... <laughs> it's the head. Yeah, it's it the is. head. And the hep C. I, it, and took the me, it took me a long time to convince him to shave his head like that. See, he used to, like, let it grow out, like, Mr. Burns style. Yeah. I always told him, like, do you want to be, like, cool young guy bald or old sad guy bald? And then yeah, I went it, to it actually fits you. You sort of look like a metrosexual Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean. Mr. And actually, it's pretty funny. You can Google if Mr. Clean's gay or straight, and it'll tell you a huge explanation of why he is neither. Okay, then. He's, because he's, he's right. an advertising He's in love with cleaning. All right, all right. <laughs> I swear to God, Fair man. Enough. You can Google it right now, and it'll tell Fair you. Enough. Well, uh, for all of you who like like uh, what we do here and you want to help support us, you can do it for as little as a dollar an episode. It is uh, Patreon. Patreon.com slash Openly Hostile Opinions. Also, you can buy T-shirts. Like this lovely uh, stupidity should be painful shirt I'm wearing right now. Well, Jay didn't knock over 12 things standing up. <laughs> right. And here's another one. I wanted to bring this on camera for you guys. You guys are not ordering this, and it's going away as of Halloween. Look at it's this shirt. It's because no one likes us, Jay. It's no lives matter. <laughs> Look at this shirt. It's fucking awesome. Go down lower. There you go. There you go. It's a little wrinkled. You know how I hate that. Yeah. See, buy, buy our stuff, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Come on, stuff. that's a cool ass shirt. And 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 if you order now, we'll throw in some Hep C. <laughs> <laughs> we will not let Roy handle the shirts. Yeah, they need money so I can steal it. <laughs> <laughs> to buy drugs. Yeah. Or drugs. Yeah. yeah, instead of donate us money, just donate Greg TVs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh Jesus Christ! But yeah, uh, the nice thing about these shirts are I I I like them because they're not too heavy. They're very long. Because when you're a, a gag condom. <laughs> yeah, what is a gag condom? <laughs> okay then. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Troy, do you want to kind of like, uh, Troy, Trevor, Trevor, do you want to kind of like, uh, expand on that a little bit? <laughs> God, my hands I don't know why I thought smell that. like rubber gloves. <laughs> I was doing dishes earlier. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you. Why you don't you need rubber gloves. The water in this dishes. house fucking sucks. What does it have Hep C in it? Yeah. Like, look at my look hands. Look at his hands. Like, oh it God. just rips my hands apart. See, if you spit in his hand right now, no, you have Hep C. D- get the fuck away from me. <laughs> if you hey, sweat on it. me and I get I'll it. only get it from blood. <laughs> I know, but I don't know. Sweat bothers me. Unless I'm like fucking. Unless you're fucking. sharing needles with it, with him, you're fine. Co- they, he said they're condoms uh, with funny sayings gag condoms. Man. Condoms with God, funny God, sayings God. on that it. That is not the gag. That reminds me. What's the difference between? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> what's the difference between jam and jelly? Uh, the difference between jam and jelly is jelly is made uh, specifically from the juice, whereas jam is made from the whole crushed berries. No, you can't jelly you your dick that? down a girl's throat. Because I watched... <laughs> 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 uh, I know that because I watched uh, a YouTube channel that I've talked about at great length before called uh, Today I Found Out, and that was one of the ones just the other day. Oh, okay, so, then. Yeah. There's only one man that jams our radar. Lone Star. Sorry. <laughs> I, thought, I thought of space balls there for a second. <laughs> you know they have remotes that you can fucking talk to now? Are you serious? <laughs> he, that shit is crazy. All, he, he's all, has he's all, all out of context. He's like, <laughs> the, he's like these remotes, dog. <laughs> cool. The X1 the remote. From oh, I, I forgot. Down, he man. sort of missed that because he was in prison. Yeah, we didn't have talking <laughs> remotes in prison. Two, he's been gone two years. And see here... Let, let right. me let God, me explain you've been this gone for a long time. Man. Let me explain yes. this all to you motherfuckers here. This guy here, uh, 
was an uh, was the head of an IT department for a large construction company, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Greg doesn't feel bad enough how much he fucked he's his life up. Let's all get car. it. Let's all bring it he's back. Incredi- back more. He's incredibly intelligent, but makes bad I choices. That, I wouldn't go that far. But. He is. He is. <laughs> uh, he's very smart. He was smart enough to become an IT professional. He, he ran the IT department and uh, had a nice car, had his kids, had a house, had uh, a car that basically would jerk you off if you asked it nicely. His wife was a whore. No, ex-wife. Ex-wife. Was <laughs> ex-wife. A, I'll give that, that one girl. Was a whore. That one girl you were running around with. Oh, oh yeah, that one you brought Brittany. back. Oh, oh she was. Oh, a she fuck. was smoking though, right? <laughs> yeah. She was good looking, but we could tell what head you were thinking with. <laughs> uh, is that the one who had all the fucking pock marks and shit? Her dream. I remember Greg telling me her dream was to be a stripper. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. yeah so Brittany. you know what kind of um, daddy issues this girl had when that was her yeah. dream. <laughs> I talked to her for about five seconds through text messages, and I wanted to kill myself. So I don't even I don't even know how two finger tap here. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> two finger tap. I if you I ever wrestle, right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Well, if you ever wrestle, that should be your uh, wrestling name, two finger tap. <laughs> <laughs> that bit reminds me back in the days when you used to like uh, fucking fucking power bomb each other into your damn thistle bushes yeah. out in front of your house. And what, I definitely what's put the name Jay of... through my wall. <laughs> you did. You did. And what's the name of the shot they put in your ass again? Uh, Vivitrol. That should be your finishing move. The Vivitrol. The Vivitrol. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. The heroin addict <laughs> versus two finger tap. You pay for the whole seat, but all you need is the edge. <laughs> <laughs> all you need is the shoelace in a dark corner. Yeah. All right. So let's get get back to how how much Greg fucked his life up. Yeah. So <laughs> so this motherfucker has everything that most people could ever want, and he's bored. Life is boring. It is boring. You know, so like why not? Normal life. See, is and that's why I'm boring. And that's that's why I'm glad Greg's sort of here because he he's sort of like me. He realizes how uh, life is just one miserable nutsack, and Absolutely. it just sucks. Yeah, exactly. The Matrix wasn't a movie; it was a documentary. <laughs> oh man, the first one, the, the other, the other two. Yeah, they, we won't talk about our, the other our ones. abortions. Yeah, exactly. All right, so back to it. Yeah, Greg fucked his life up. <laughs> bad. Yeah, bad. <laughs> well, we're not going to harp on him too bad about now it. Now I have but... a classic car. That are the Jarrett's, though. <laughs> what, what, yeah, what, yeah. What year did you say it was? 92. Oh, I thought you said 72. <laughs> no, <it's laughs> no, a... no, but it's literally because it's 25 years old. No, yeah, yeah, it's a 92. That's That's a good age. I, I have a 2003, good age. and guess which car made it here today? It right. wasn't mine. <laughs> yeah, because fucking Jay's car uh, is like the only other thing I found worse than a woman. <laughs> yeah, hey, at least I was nice enough to let you borrow it. Yeah, but I don't know, man. We tried to fix it one time, and the, we did. The one screw that you have to get into, they put about this much room to get to it. So me and Jay's fucking mongoloid hands couldn't get into it, and we're like, like, what do we do? Fucking hire a kid? Like, isn't that child labor? Like, it was just fucking awful. I don't even know how people fix newer cars. They're like fucking little piles of shit. It's horrible. <laughs> okay, so Duffy asks, how do you prevent dolphin rape? I don't know, Duffy. How do you prevent dolphin rape? <laughs> I'm waiting. There's a delay here, so it'll be a while till we get the answer how to that. How do you prevent dolphin rape? I don't know, man. Don't go in the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> you should know this, right? No, yeah, no, I'm about it. Got it. Hey, it has a warm hole that blows stuff, so. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say protect the hole. Yeah, yeah, protect the hole. I don't know. I yeah, mean, so. Uh, damn high. it, give me the answer. I want to know now. If, they must, if you get high. You fuck anything. Yeah, so that's true. It's not rape, right? Yeah, that's true. If I was high, I'd probably f- fuck an electrical Send outlet. Send Casey. <laughs> Send Casey. Yeah. I am not a rapist. <laughs> that's the point. It'll prevent the rape. I only rape when it involves role play. Yeah, you you weren't here for this conversation the other week because you were you know going through your whole like rehab before you yeah, got out. Yeah, I had thing. to go back to rehab. <laughs> he had for a relapse. Reasons. May or may not have relapsed <laughs> twice. Uh, anyway, Twice. <laughs> anyway, uh, he he wasn't here for this whole conversation. So Casey <sighs> has found himself a lady friend who uh, who comes by on a ca- yeah. Casey beats women. That's pretty much the long sort of it. It was during she, sex, so it doesn't count. She enjoys uh, a, a bit of the bit of the rough. Hey, did you fucking... hear the story yet? You didn't hear the story? No, no, I was in rehab again. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, he had a bit of the rough rough fucking. Uh, she, she she's a fuck buddy. Yeah. And she enjoys the little bit of the uh, li- little bit of the rough fucking. And uh, Casey got a little into it and decided to slap a bitch, like cross the face twice. <laughs> like I thought, I thought like I straight up hauled yeah, off, made like, her eyes go. I was good. choking. I was like, "Bitch, do the dishes." No, I'm joking. I didn't say that part. But and I thought it was like very light, but I realized I made her ears ring. 
<laughs> yeah, the funny that part is that he didn't. It didn't dawn no, on him. But until... cocaine will make your earring too. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder what's on Greg's mind. I can't tell. You know what? Uh, we had a like kind of a kind of a Doctor Phil session last week because I tried to psychoanalyze what the fuck is wrong with Casey. Uh, You'll never figure it out. Uh, no, I but can't. why don't you just like <laughs> fucking date her? No, are you fucking kidding me? What's wrong with her? Red flags all over the fucking place. What, what you think you're gonna not find a non crazy woman? Greg, uh, hey, in your entire maybe. life, have you ever known a non-crazy woman? That's because Greg's as damaged as no. I am. <laughs> no, Actually, I, maybe even worse because I never went to jail. I got jail. a couple numbers for you. Oh, do you? Yeah. Like that that one that made the showers longer? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or what about the one who, you know, <laughs> got you hooked on heroin in the first place? <laughs> Yeah, who who yeah. was this? It wasn't the Britney girl, was it? No. Oh, okay. Whatever no, happened no, no, to her? The, it, because I, she, you had a hard time getting rid of that bitch. She, yeah. Dude. Wow, I forgot about that whole story. Because I remember she was staying at your house. She wouldn't fucking leave. Here, let then, him talk. Let him tell. Let, let well, him tell the story. And then something like if she wasn't if, since she was there so long, she actually the cops couldn't kick her out. Oh yeah, I called the cops. Right. Well, back and, back uh, it up they, a little. They, back it up. They, a they little. wouldn't make her leave. Jesus Christ! Like, well, what the fuck? She probably sucked okay, her dick. <laughs> Probably. Give me that FC. All right, all right, let's back this up here. He was dating this chick, right? And he he brought her over to see us, right? And uh, we yeah, I was both to show off. Yeah, you were trying to show <laughs> off, and both Casey and I both spotted red, huge red flags there. You you didn't. Uh, why don't you well, tell no, us? I knew. Yeah, I'm he's just... saying about red flags, and he's like, "Hey, how comes you don't date that girl you beat across the face during sex?" <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm just saying, you gotta start lowering your standards, man, because you ain't got a whole lot. That's of all I've left. done my whole life is lowered my standards. I'm ready. That's for probably an, why we're I'm, friends. I'm ready for the fine caviar. <laughs> Telling you, you gotta shop out of state. Uh, I know, whatever. All right, we're getting out of contact, so I'm sorry. I was making it about me. <laughs> so go on, Greg. How'd you meet this bitch? Uh, Brittany. Yeah. Yeah. It She's... was my sister-in-law's sister. Oh, God, that's right. Yeah, because, you know, weird, that's always right? a good idea. <laughs> yeah, well, my brother and my sister-in-law were living with me, and uh, she got, I don't know what the fuck happened, but she ended up at our house. Mm -hmm. I'm, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure drugs were involved. And I did. And you just No, like, no, I wasn't using drugs then. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't remember you ever talking about it. And you, no. you still came up. At, you still had your job then. You still came up every once in a while. Yep. I remember at the bar one night we were drinking and she like stole your car or something. Yeah, I ended up at your house, right? Yeah. I was like, man, oh, what about I the time you? What about the time <laughs> you had to crash your car into hers? Oh, yeah, tell oh, about right. that story. All right, well, we were. she was driving really like a fucked up crackhead through a park with a bunch of kids. So I thought, you know, I got to stop this car. Um, so I had a big-ass Tahoe. And uh, she tried cutting around me, and I just ran the shit out of my own car with my Tahoe. Because she was driving your car, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, I, you know, I'm trying to protect the kids. So what do I do? I cause a fucking accident. Yeah, but you still protected the kids. No kids died, did they? Yeah, she definitely didn't want to drive the car after that. That's good. Yeah, I didn't like that bitch. Like I said, I talked to her for five minutes through text messages. She was weird. And I just, I knew something was up. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, I don't really talk to her anymore. That's good. She had a kid. That does and she surprise. got married. <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up! <laughs> I'm Somebody How tied is... that ball of crazy down? Yeah. How is She's damn. getting divorced already. Oh, the, oh okay. the, I'm not, I'm not really go. surprised. Okay. I mean, but I, she I didn't end really up in prison, there for so a there's that. Yeah. yeah. You might you might have been the worst one in that relationship, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say it. Yeah. <laughs> no one's worse than this girl, dude. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I did a lot of trust. Uh, I already warned him we were going to tear him apart on the show. Just yeah, before he even came on, we're like, we're going to make fun of you a lot for being a heroin addict. <laughs> you know, because it, it's so none of it was so out of left field. None of us had expected it. <laughs> yeah, it was actually. Yeah, I was the clean one, right? Yeah. Well, you we, always had an addictive personality, yeah. as I've explained on the show before. I was always an alcoholic, but I didn't realize it until a couple years ago. <laughs> really? Yeah, right, All right. you had to do was ask me. <laughs> I think you were trying to knock some sense into me while I was actively using. Me? Well played. Oh, yeah. How I told you it was going to be the hardest time of your life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, was I didn't believe you. I was trying to knock some sense into you because yeah, I remember you were he, talking he to me. Trying. I was like, dude, this is going to be the hardest part of your life ever. And he's like, oh, okay, whatever. Heroin, coke. Yeah, because you couldn't. <laughs> coke, please. Hepatitis C. Yeah, I remember because uh, Casey was telling me you were kind of not understanding why I was mad at you. <laughs> well, I knew why people were mad. I just didn't give a fuck. Yeah, because you were cared about heroin. Yeah, well. But I understand it. Like, I, I've been... It's like, why is Jay not happy with me? Gee, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I've been friends with numerous heroin addicts, and I, I like to listen to people's stories like that. And um, listening to all these stories from all these heroin addicts and everything, 
this happened with Greg and he was telling me this and I'm like, look, dude, I'm like, I've known a lot of heroin addicts and you're in for a ride, dude. You got to get your shit together. I'm like, it's already going to be hard because people know you do it. And I remember that night we were talking. Um, it's when I still lived in Pitcher Rocks. And I remember that. This is before you went to jail and all that shit, wasn't right. it? Yeah. I mean, I was still going. The charges were coming anyway. <laughs> there, there was no You're avoiding like, it. got to do all I can. Yeah, might as well get high now. <laughs> might as well get high now. What, what happened? Want to get high? <laughs> what I happened? Need that. I need that clip. Um, did you ever snort it or did you just do needles? Uh, I mainly stuck to the needles. Mm. I actually didn't start um, snorting. Like heroin and cocaine. I never snorted cocaine, actually. I always shot it. <laughs> what? Shot it. Yeah. <laughs> Greg, uh, straight to the, you know. <laughs> yeah, the Zero first, to 60. The yeah. first time I used heroin, um, I shot it and died the first time. Oh, we did not know that. Yeah. Did you know that? Oh, day? I knew that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I told him. When You died? Yeah, yeah, I fell out. I was down for like three hours. How much fucking heroin did you take? All right, well, <laughs> I was drinking this day and popping Klonopin's like they're fucking candy. Klonopin. So I was already fucked what up. What is it, 1970? <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Klonopin. So I decided I want to try heroin. No, well, great. the person who I had uh, get it for me decided, why not use four bags? And she, you, so she shot me up and I don't remember. The, what the fir- so you're telling me the first time you ever did heroin, you used four bags? Yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yep, I, I never out. knew this story. And I then, did not know this story. Yeah, and then I woke up, and after uh, I stopped projectile vomiting, <laughs> I was like, well, I didn't get to feel it, so why not try just like one this time? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> great choices he makes. If you die the first time, just take it down, and then you might right. get to enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, okay, got, I, I yeah, see what I see. What, so, <laughs> so, so <laughs> let, let let me ask you now that you've had a little time to reflect: Was it really that fun of a time? Like I was telling you, um, spending three days um, in my basement shooting coke every 15 minutes. Well, at the time, I thought it was fun. Um, <laughs> no, not really. I mean. <laughs> well, since you've been out. Have uh, you... Greg has had fentanyl, actually. It was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, he brings that's that up. That's what those four bags were. They were cut with fentanyl. Yeah, because yeah. that's what I was actually going to bring up to you. Being out of the um, you know loop for a while, not having a phone and everything. Do you know about the fentanyl crisis right now? Like, Oh, yeah. I was telling them about it. They're basically replacing Coke with, like, synthetic Coke that's just basically yeah, they're, fentanyl. Yeah, they're, they're cutting cocaine with fentanyl. Yeah. Yeah, that's well, a speedball. It's a, but it's a downer it, and an upper. But they're cutting it so much, they're actually identifying it as synthetic Coke now. Um, but that doesn't make any sense because fentanyl's a downer. a downer. I know. It's an upper. But if it's still mixed with a little bit of Coke and they're adding more shit to it to make it more than fentanyl to have that, you know, aggressive... We've had that since the 70s. They call it speedballs. I know, but it's worse now. It's worse now. And and you know what the problem with that is? Um, Somebody who's just using cocaine, who doesn't really like heroin and downers Mm -hmm. and all that stuff, they're not going to have a tolerance to the downers and the fentanyl. Fentanyl's about 40 times more potent than heroin. So if you think you're just getting cocaine and you're doing these huge shots that you're used to, they're going to fuck you up. Well, it's killing a bunch of people, and that's why I was telling you, this fentanyl shit that's going on around here, (laughs) oh, Jesus, it's... uh, it's not only found in coke, but it's a big heroin well, pump right now. Fentanyl too. is what killed Prince. Yeah, exactly. Which fucking saddens me. I still. I lived in Florida, and I actually lived with people that loved painkillers. And uh, this one guy used to rip the patch open of fentanyl patches and suck the juice out, puke his guts out, and then do it again. Um, yeah, it means you're really high. Yeah, because the ne- the guy next door to us had cancer and just gave it to him for free. <laughs> so free drugs are the best. Yeah, I I, I bet well, it could be like uh, Charlie Sheen, where you're smoking testosterone. Cream hey, he's somehow. a warlock Wait, from what? Mars. <laughs> you didn't hear about that? He was smoking what? He blamed testosterone. Cream. You know how he got you know charged or not charged, but blamed. For he going may crazy. not know that this. was the tiger's butt. Got it. Okay, you do remember that. Okay, that's okay. see, I don't remember how far he everything blames goes that on um, smoking testosterone cream while watching Dave Chappelle, and he said Dave Chappelle had him laughing so hard. The testosterone cream made him go into just a like rage, like a psychotic rage. So he blames on half testosterone cream and half Dave Chappelle. <laughs> it's yeah. always the black guy's fault. Oh yeah, of course it is. <laughs> but actually, one thing I've noticed is how much weight you lost. I've said this to you before, but yeah, um, I used to be fat. <laughs> He's three hundred pounds. All the weight you lost, I found. Yeah, and like <laughs> I'm noticed. looking at like the screen here. Greg's the skinniest one here. I'm fat. I'm fat compared to Greg. Like I'm, I'm like 240 right now. <laughs> See, the funny part is really? that you still wear the same shirts you wore when you were skinny. So. Either how are you 240? Where are you keeping it? 
<laughs> he was working out. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I mean, I, yeah, I was kind of in prison. Yeah, piece of shit. I found out you did steroids. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. We were. You, you didn't know that? You know what? No. That, actually, while you're here, let me just take a moment to address that. We were fucking proud of you. Seriously. I know. Me we were. and Casey and Amanda, <laughs> yeah. we, we were all fucking proud of you. He's like, dude, he's going out. He's getting himself healthy. He's doing it. He's kicking ass. Then they'll find out you were using steroids, you piece of shit. I mean, I was still eating healthy and well, know, yeah, doing all that stuff. But yeah, but it's like a steroids, fucking fast track. <laughs> right. Steroids by themselves don't make you big. Well, you no, you still work. have to work out. But the fact of the matter is, if I could take a, uh, you know, something to make my, uh, my muscles all big and uh, easily it's melt fat Viagra. off. <laughs> yeah. We all know Jay has a small penis, right, Greg? <laughs> seen it. That's how Greg got Hep C, the real story. <laughs> yeah, because I heard that that steroids doesn't really help you. It gives you the strength and energy to work out a lot to where you Right, you recover to... a lot faster. Yeah, yeah exactly. and your muscles so you will... can work out. Yeah, because I remember, muscles yeah, suck yeah, I remember when you were working out. You were working out before all this heroin bullshit, and right. I remember telling Jay, I'm like, something's wrong with Greg, and he didn't believe me. And I'm like, yeah, he's working... getting big too quick. Yeah. Well, I didn't mean about the steroids. I meant mentally. Well, we didn't see, we <laughs> didn't see you every day. We just yeah. saw a picture one day. I was like, like oh, wow. something's going on with Greg. He started working out all of a sudden. He's trying to, you know, fight or flight. He's he's trying. And he didn't believe me. And then all this heroin shit came out. I'm like, I fucking knew it. Yeah, I went, I went from an inch and a half needle to uh, the short ones. <laughs> the short ones. Hang on and, a sec. And I hate needles. Hang on a sec. Jimmy Unless just popped in to tell us he's at a conve convention. He wanted to come in and share. Have a good show, suckers. Thank you, Jimmy. We appreciate it. You're going to want to catch the replay if you can because we're talking about it to our friend who is on the inside of the Stony Lonesome. So it's an interesting show so far. Yeah, it's our friend. He's a heroin addict. <laughs> All right, so continue. Sorry. Yeah, talk about the short needles. What do you mean? So if you were using shorter needles, you got high quicker. No. No, no. I'm not sticking a 20-gauge, inch-and-a-half needle into my arm. Are you talking about steroids, or are you yep. talking about no, that? Yeah, the steroids no, were, when you're, were a big needle. When you do oh, steroids, okay. See, you got to get in the muscle. <laughs> Jay's over there talking. He's like, I've done them before. No, I just know how this works. You have, it's know. an intermuscular shot. Them. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have so to you get, get a the, longer the, needle. The, the steroid, right. In right. The it's a big gauge. It's, it's a depot shot. It, it it sits in a deposit, like a space in your muscle. Oh, okay. And then your body will slowly absorb it, whereas with drugs, you put it in your veins. Where the fuck were you getting steroids I worked at a hospital. No, him. The internet? You can buy steroids. Yes. You can buy anything on... Ugh, you can buy the steroids in your I'm out of the fucking loop, man. <laughs> Dude, you I, can go to the gym right now and talk to the biggest guy there and go, yo, I need some stuff. He'll hook you up. have it. Yep. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, then, I guess I play World of Warcraft too much, and I just don't right. have a life. Uh, <laughs> and then um, when you're doing like you? heroin and cocaine, you want to go in the vein. Yeah. yeah Did you ever do it in between your toes? Because I, I know a lot of heroin acts that do it between their toes. No, I, I didn't use that long. You know, I didn't start until I was 32. That, that's right. So yeah. my yeah. veins are still You did pretty, crash a bird really quick. Good. Like yeah. once you started, yeah. you burned pretty fucking quick. Dude. You know, what, what was I, 225 when I was using steroids? I was 160 when I got locked up. Jesus Christ. Pretty bad. Well, that whole not eating thing will do that. Yeah, uh, not so eating, drinking. Cocaine will really slim you down, just so you know. Uh, <laughs> I think I'd rather just do the ketogenic <laughs> no. stuff. There you go. Uh, which our once a week beer is not good for, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> good job, Jared. At Jelaine, Jelaine says, who's this? What's going on here? This is our uh, our, our new third host, uh, Rockview Roy. He I just like got Rocks. out of... He just got out of the clink, and he'll be joining us pretty much any Tuesday he can. A.K.A. two tap, two actually, tap. Actually, actually, I got <laughs> I got out in July, um, and I went to a halfway house and relapsed. So, you you did you relapse inside the halfway house? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, they're not made. Did you OD you. or anything, or you just basically didn't? You're like, fuck, I need help. No. Um, what happened? I uh, I was I got out of jail. I was using in jail too, um, mm -hmm. some boxing and shit like that. Um, oh. Halfway houses are set up. Oh, yeah. Do you see halfway houses? They're set up. Oh, I bet. Um, Wouldn't surprise me. I was clean when I got to the halfway house, um, and they put me in a room with the biggest junkie on the floor. <laughs> oh, great. So I started using a lot with and this you, guy. And you could just get him for Did you have to pay for it at all, or is it just? Not really. I got a lot of free shit. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, because I've heard stories like that all the time about halfway houses. Yeah, how, how like you said, setup. they're like a setup to fail. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I'm supposed to go to a recovery house. I got accepted to a recovery house. Um, but I couldn't stop using cause I'm an asshole. Right. <laughs> so I, I get home planned and I'm on my way to the recovery house. Um, and I get there and give them a hot urine. So I can't stay. Mm -hmm. Parole gave me an option. Go back to jail or go to rehab. Oh, well, that's good. At least yeah. give you a fucking choice. Should have went back to jail. Rehab sucks. That yeah, one? Oh, yeah, yeah. That one was bad. Why was it? <clears throat> where'd you go? 
Uh, Conawego. Conawego. Hopefully they're not watching. <laughs> Conawego's awesome. <laughs> it's not like Fuck you have you, to go back. Fuck you, Conawego. I hope you don't have what to go back. What was so bad about it? They, they're just assholes. The, the, yeah, nobody gave a fuck there. Yeah. Um, this this place isn't like a private. They sent a lot of jail government guys there. money and shits involved. There's a lot of guys coming out of jail. People are getting sent there against their will. Okay, like they're not checking in by themselves. So, so people don't want to be there. Themselves. They don't give a fuck. So it's not nice yeah. where it has like fucking like water springs and like yeah, this the uh, yeah. <laughs> this isn't fucking Have you out. ever been at one quite that nice? Like, um, I mean, I don't. Am I allowed to say like where I was? I yeah, don't see any reason yeah. why not. I don't um, see why not. It's not like under confidentiality. Yeah, well, it's not like it's whether or not you're comfortable enough yeah, talking yeah. about it more than anything. So, uh, White Deer Run up here is the first rehab I went to. And I actually have uh, good friends from there who are still clean. Um, like, I made real connections to people. I checked in there myself. I wasn't forced to go there. Yeah. Um, and how? And, and that place was, it sucked because we sit in chair like this one you guys got me in. <laughs> uh, yeah, we need so to get Greg a better chair. For, if he asks for needles after this, I'm punching the dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'd sit in these chairs all day, but we got some real shit out. Yeah. We made real connections with people. And the thing is, is how long ago did you go to White Deer? Uh, it was 2015. Okay, because I know before that it was actually doing really bad. Um, I heard a lot of bad things about it, and then they put a new guy in charge of it, or woman, I forget what it was, and I guess it really is good right now. Yeah, I heard, it's definitely, it was I heard definitely it, a, good, yeah. a good experience. I heard it's better now, because I, I heard mean, before it wasn't good at all. I mean, I relapsed three hours after I left, but... <laughs> Jesus it's Christ! It's not their fault. That was your yeah, dumbassery. Right. Actually, let's get into this, because I, I want to know personally. what What is the worst part about um, the um, urge to do heroin? Do you get a burning sensation at all? Is it your body? Is it more mental? Well, it doesn't have to be heroin. I know coke was more your thing than yeah. Well, I know you did coke my, to bring my, yourself back up because yeah. you, you went down from heroin so much, and then you would do coke to come back up from it. It was the opposite for me. Oh, and my 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 favorite drug was cocaine. So you did heroin to come down, right? Of, but heroin's the one that pretty much ruined everything. Heroin pretty much ruins everything because you get sick. Yeah, you puke. It. Yeah, yeah, right. you fucking all that crazy oh, shit. But yeah, like you, you get the goosebumps and like you just have to have it. <laughs> like, like what, what does a dope sickness feel like to us us lay people what can you compare it to, to us what people lay people <laughs> lay, lay yeah, um non-addicts <laughs> normal folks just, who didn't just, make bad, poor choices just kind of imagine the worst flu you've ever had in your life and then multiply that by like a million Ugh. and you can't sleep you have restless legs you're puking you're shitting mm-hmm. and all you want to do is sleep but you can't and the only there's one thing that will make it feel better Heroin. Right. <laughs> or cocaine. <laughs> or cocaine. So oh, yeah. cocaine actually does take the withdrawal of heroin away. For about 15 minutes. That's it? Yep. Takes oh. the edge off, I bet. Jesus Christ, We man. We were trying to uh, detox from heroin using cocaine, and that's when shit got <laughs> bad. <laughs> and and, and your, your fucking drug-riddled brains didn't put that together. Uh, well, yeah, the first time I tried coke, I mean, after I stopped puking, I, I'm looking at, at the dude I was with, and I'm like, this is the best shit ever. <laughs> Like we can literally, because I was dope sick at the time when, we, yeah. when I took it, and I felt better. Mm-hmm. Like, well, we could detox with this. He, and he said, well, it's going to be really expensive. I said, all right, well, we already stole a bunch of money, so. <laughs> hey, what's the problem? Yeah, hey, what's the problem? I got yeah, money. Don't, don't detox from heroin. You see, the funniest is... part is you could have just checked into a fucking rehab center and detoxed there, um, you know, with therapists. See, I'm glad he didn't come yeah, to me no. for help, because you know what I would have done? I would have chained him, handcuffed him to my toilet, and put a bag of heroin in front of him. It would have been... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm serious. I would have. Um, it would have been the worst week of your life. It would have been like I fucking train <laughs> You're like, I would have got that bag. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised you you guys didn't try the whole train spotting thing, lock yourselves in a room. I know people that have done that. We tried getting off a bunch, and it just never worked. I've known people that have done that. I know a guy that uh, he gave his... He broke up with his wife or whatever because, of course, heroin. Uh, he went to her house, gave her a key, said, I want you to come over lock me into this room. And uh, don't let me out until like a week or something like that, so he could detox himself. And she did it, and it worked. I don't know if he relapsed or whatever, but I don't know. Well, I knew it. I knew a dude who was on meth pretty good for a while there, and uh, he uh, was he, he Chinese? No, oh, meth. I thought he said no meth. meth. <laughs> <laughs> he was on meth really bad, and uh, well, hello, up of the day. You should probably kick that shit. He did, kind of, sort of. <laughs> anyway, uh, kind of, sort of. Uh, anyway, so, uh, the guy was on meth real bad and he decided that, you know, he had enough of this shit. So what he did is he, uh, checked into a hotel, uh, checked into a hotel room and just lived off room service. And I guess he ate a bunch of like sweets, like he'd order yeah, cake and, yeah, and that's cheesecake. Why they call them junkies. 
Well, yeah, it, it, he, that's what he said. I actually he, learned that from a heroin addict. When he yeah. told me that, I was like, get the that's fuck out of here. That's what he said. Here. Like, when you're coming down off of meth, chocolate. all you want is sugar. Yep, chocolate. Just sugar. It wasn't chocolate. Like It was like pancakes mm-hmm. with syrup and, yeah. and cheesecake. And no, I remember like I remember watching a movie, and it was like Sandra Bullock was in it or something, and she was an alcoholic, and she went to rehab, and her roommate was a heroin addict, and she was eating chocolate. That's all. She, she would have this big pillowcase of chocolate, and she was just like... Well, I think um, didn't really help because she ended up killing herself. But uh. <laughs> so, so we got a we got a guy in the chat right now. This is kind of interesting. Muppet of the day says, uh, "I'm a heroin addict. I've been on heroin since 1999." Hi guys, it's all good. I blame my girlfriend. Um, you shouldn't blame your girlfriend. Nobody made you do shit. Yeah, you, can't, you can't blame anybody. <laughs> I, I, Harry, you tell him. Yeah, I, I don't blame anybody. In the beginning, I did, um, but I really it, it was my choice. Yeah, because I remember you... you she put, put the needle in my arm the first time, but... You know what I mean? <laughs> you told so her to. this time, it was your girlfriend. <laughs> well, no, you no, told no, no, her no. to, and it wasn't his girlfriend. No, but... I, I saw something that you posted on Facebook today that actually, like... I, uh, it's exactly what you meant. Um, it's not your fault that um, heroin... Um, the, the disease affected you. And all those people that say heroin is a disease, you're full of shit. Go fuck yourself. Um, but you said your recovery is is your problem. It's not your fault that you have the disease. It's your fault for your recovery. Like, right. you need to be responsible. And that's true. That's true. Uh, it sucks yeah, that, that was... her- heroin got a hold of you and stuff. Because I believe people do this stuff because they've had hard lives. Uh, it fills a hole. Uh, like, people with post-traumatic stress, they're alcoholics. You know what I mean? I, I believe in that some way. And I-, I do believe that that's a smart thing you said. Recovery is your fault. Or not your fault, but your, you know, obligation to take care of it. Everything like that. I didn't write that. <laughs> that, that's from uh, uh, just for today. My girlfriend from, from NA. From NA. Yeah. Ah, okay. Um, what what did they just say? My my uh, thing. Uh, yeah, you... we eat well. My girlfriend family was rich, and I never had to buy a bag. They are rich and buy us ounces at a time. What the fuck is wrong with these people if they're fucking enabling you to do that sort of shit? <laughs> they're like, I'm sorry, hey, but there's no good excuse for Rich that people are fucked up, man. Like, I was talking about this the other day with Jason, the guy that was on the show months and months and months ago. It seems like all businessmen, like, you know, car dealership men and all all rich people are cokeheads. <laughs> yeah, like, well, they're going to be addicted to fentanyl. Yeah, exactly. Like, Wolf of Wall Street, when I watched that movie, I was like, this is exactly how businessmen act. Like, you make lots of money, you become irresponsible, you fuck anything with a moist hole, and you just do drugs all day. Like, right. Yeah, exactly. That would be awesome. Yeah, hey, because you made pretty good money at your job. Yeah, I did. You were an IT guy, you made pretty good. You were in Harrisburg. He, he, he was the head of the department. Jesus right. Christ. And I had I had some side gigs. I, I was making some really good money. Oh, you were also doing, like, freelance shit on the side. Right, and oh, I, was, okay. I was selling shit online. <laughs> Doing an eBay thing, you know. Oh, I thought you legit. meant heroin. I thought no, you meant no, no, heroin. No, no. no, legit. <laughs> well, you said you could find everything on the internet, so I thought well, maybe you, you were selling, you know. Well, uh, so on a completely unrelated note, and the only reason I'm kind of like trying to do this is because we're running out of time, and I uh, promised it on the tweet I put out earlier. Uh, so I wanted to talk about this, man. So I saw this the other day, and I'm not a big Star Wars nerd. I don't know if you guys are. Did Lies. you even did you even see the recent ones? Me. I'm talking to the guy who was in prison oh, for the okay. last two years. Oh, no. Well, anyway, people are fucking ridiculous about this shit. Uh, I saw a headline, and I quote, Star Wars, The Last Jedi subtitles reveal who Snoke talks to in new trailer. Really? <laughs> what do you mean? He doesn't, like, he doesn't talk to anybody. He just talks to the screen. How can well, you tell? The, the point is, they're, they're basically, you know how different languages, they have like male and female uh, words? Like, you mean like what? Like, I don't get it. Uh, Chico and Chica. Oh, okay, Spanish. okay, 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 okay. Well, in the subtitles that they were using, it was insinuating uh, uh, that he was either talking to a female or a male at this part. So these these fucking degenerate nerds who have nothing better to do with their fucking time <laughs> are sitting here psychoanalyzing the fucking trailer to figure out who Snoke's, Snoke's talking to when this goddamn movie's going to come out in a few months and you can just fucking watch it. I know it's coming out like near Christmas or something. Hey, but you know you call but, them nerds and everything, but they could be doing heroin. So, but <laughs> but why? Why would you want to like analyze this to the point I don't where know, it man. ruins the movie for you? I don't know. There's, there's like, I'm not a Star Wars fan, so I don't fucking care. That, that's why. But, like I'm sort of upset. I watched the trailer. I really don't like watching trailers that I'm excited to see. And I found out I actually enjoy the movie a lot more when I don't watch the trailer because um, it's just you're more surprised. One of the greatest movies I've ever seen, because I knew nothing about it, was from Dust Till Dawn. Did you guys ever see that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, who hasn't yeah. seen it? 
it was the greatest fucking movie I've ever seen in my like, life. There's vampires in here? Yeah, I had no fucking clue. I was like, oh, some fucking child molester, him and his brother are robbing stores. Why oh, hey, look, this guy has a revolver for a dick. All right, good. Yeah, and then it's just like, <laughs> I'm sitting there, and I'm just like, why does my cousin want me to watch this movie so bad? And then all of a sudden, the vampires came out. I was like, holy shit! And I was like, it was so exciting. I knew nothing about it. I know who George Clooney was. I really didn't know who Quentin Tarantino was. Never, really? Yeah. I was young. Dude, that movie came out how long ago, man? Oh, uh, so this is like when it first came out. Oh, yeah. And like this was when like when you bought surround sound, because I remember my uncle and cousin, they had really good surround sound. But this is when you bought surround sound. It covered half your living room. <laughs> <laughs> like the speakers were six feet tall. The, the, the fucking fun, floor shakers. Yeah, the receiver was half the size of your TV. Uh, big screen TVs weren't flat. They were fucking like just god awful i remember back in the day speaking of floor shakers man his stepdad had these giant floor shaker fucking yeah, speakers dude. in his living in his uh dining room and we plugged his bass into him one time and rattled the best whole movie house. to Blew ever watch speaker. neighbors hated us <laughs> best movie to ever watch is surround sound or like floor shakers whatever you're talking about is terminator 2 Oh, yeah. Best fucking movie to watch. Dude, it is so amazing. And the fight scene where he's chasing what's his name on the motorcycle in the trailer in that fucking, like, sewage. It's so loud. Gets me fucking rock hard. <laughs> not not heroin rock, sorry. You remember, <laughs> speaking of those floor shakers your stepdad had, do you remember that time we plugged your bass into him and blew out the speaker so we fixed it with fucking caulk? Shh. <laughs> Why'd you have to use cock? That. Why couldn't you use pussy? Fucking sexist, man. <laughs> sexist bullshit. <laughs> I found it. I we found the motherfucker. You, if you're going to be on the show more, oh we got to get you some new headphones, dude. Those things are killing you. Well, I, I have another pair of cans like this. I'm going to try to find them another for Another pair him. of cans. Cans. <laughs> can, what? Can. Well, I, I don't know how you fucking sit there for an hour and a half with those fucking things in your ears. I can't. I don't do know. That. They feel sort of good. Actually, I think I, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know I like them because like, I use a Q-tip after them and it just feels nice. I, I'm addicted to Q-tips. Love them. They turned me on sexually. And um, actually, I want to start an internet sensation. Everyone that sees this should start calling cotton balls boneless Q-tips. <laughs> Let's make that a thing. And also, while we're at it, start calling Cheerios bagel seeds. <laughs> so that's, that's loud to me, that dude. Is that loud. is loud. killer. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I, my, my levels are all fucked up here. It's, it's loud to me, but I just think it's really loud to Greg because, like I said, he probably has like 23 gallons of caffeine in him. He was. He drank a cup of coffee. He was drinking coffee when he got to my house. So Real coffee. That shit was good. Real coffee. When he, he just drank two Not toilet coffee. coffee. <laughs> Not toilet coffee. Hepatitis C coffee. Right. <laughs> yeah, for people just join us, he has hepatitis C. <laughs> uh, this dude, red man, red man down there, wants to know, is fentanyl and all heroin now? That's what I hear. It's pretty much coming into the country. It's bad. Yeah, it's fentanyl, bad. So, and it's then bad. they're cutting with more. So you're pretty much just doing fentanyl. You're not even doing Yeah, the story anymore. I read is is the guy that's actually in charge of doing all this fentanyl bullshit is actually in jail. But before he got caught, he planned so much of it ahead. We're fucked for years. Um, he's They plan, They think that this one guy that they already have caught is going to kill thousands of people because it's too late. Everything he already put in and everything is just fucked because fentanyl is easy to get because there's a lot of people that work at hospitals and can get it easy. But, you know. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much in everything. They're putting yeah. it in fucking K2 and yeah, uh, weed. It's, yeah, exactly. I, I, I smoked weed a long time ago with, Not with uh, on it. No, a bombing fluid, actually. Oh. And it was horrible. It was so fucking bad. Yeah, because that's a good idea. You know, it nah. fucking preserves your dead ass body. <laughs> I, I Let's did, fucking smoke it. After I smoked it, I did feel fucking like dead. I was like, if I start getting rigor mortis. That I'm, explains why you look the way you do. Yeah, I know. I know. I can't Sucking help it. Sucking in eyes and all I that. I can't help it. Greg's the most most best looking one here. Right I now. know, and he's the <laughs> fucking ex druggie. Yeah, he's the ex heroin addict. It's a little prison tattoo he has over here. I don't want to wow. touch it. I don't want to get Hep C. Yeah, oh, for God's <laughs> sake, I, I don't want it, you man. Got it just from sitting next to me. <laughs> <laughs> can can you? So since it's blood oriented, can you uh, get it through sex? You can if you're bleeding. So if she's, she's on the bleeding. rag. So if she's flying the Japanese flag, you can get it. No, she would have to have cuts inside, and you would have to be cut too. So it can't be uterus blood. No, it's, it's it'd have to be so like it's skin a lot tears. harder. So, yeah, it's so it's a lot harder, harder to get than. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's not impossible, but you'd you'd have to have lesions. She'd have to have a skin right. tear. Okay, which right. isn't all that uncommon. But for the dick to be skin tear too, that's 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 uncommon. when that's right. when you get drunk really late at night. And you miss your ex girlfriend. You beat off for about three hours. That's when you get the lesions on your dick. 
Never right, done that before. <laughs> Bullshit! I've seen what your hands look like. See if you would it's just my water. if you would just start masturbating with lotion, you'd have no more problems. I, it's too messy, man. I like it raw, <laughs> man. I like raw dog. And then it. when I get really mad at myself, because like I love mad masturbation. Mad I just, masturbation. I just get yeah. It's like Mad Max the movie. I'm gonna have to the teach porn you how to make a fifi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I already know how. There's YouTube videos. Oh, okay. <laughs> but like I like I like not That's using, the lamest thing ever. <laughs> I, I don't like using lotion because when I get really angry, I can still spit on it. It's like yeah, you bitch. <laughs> I start barking at it like DMX. Arr, arr, what you gonna do? <laughs> who hurt you? Who 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 damaged you? Uh, nobody. We're not getting. Into I mean, this is it the, is it the fact is it the fact that your ex girlfriend is your stepsister? No, I don't give a fuck about that bitch. Because I mean, I think that would fuck me up a little bit inside. Eh, I just fucked up. Whatever. I, I used to. I used to. Um, and this is the best way I can describe to Greg. About, you know, addiction and just, like, mental illness. Because, of course, Greg's fucked up in the head. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're calling um, Rock View Ryan the Pinger. Yeah. He's like, who the hell's Greg? At a point in my life, I realized that when I was, you know, dealing with my mental problems. Because it's no surprise I have them. Um, instead of always focusing on getting better, I realized I'm going to deal with this for the rest of my life. So instead of trying to fix it, I try to live with it. And it's changed my life. So For you know, the worse. No, I think I'm a lot better than I used to be. <laughs> a lot better. I'm actually, you know, having conversations with women um, where I don't want to treat them like a 1940s flapper girl. <laughs> I think you're kind of stretching it. You're kind of grasping the straws there, bud. <laughs> no, I think. Hey, how much time do we have left? I think we're about out of time. Uh, we, we, yeah, yeah, we're about out of time. This is a good show. It was a good show. I'm glad, I enjoyed. Uh, you know, hepatitis, I mean, Greg um joined us well we glad got, to see you greg we get all this shit out of the way so next week we can go back to making dick and fart jokes yeah we told greg we're like dude we're gonna make fun of you uh next <laughs> for doing heroin but they, they promised me drugs <laughs> <laughs> you better watch what you say this shit's on youtube <laughs> fucking no, po yes. might see it now uh next week casey's gonna be gone in california that lucky bastard so it'll be uh yeah me, me and old Rockview roy here and possibly bring me back some tar some what Heroin. <laughs> it's called tar. I don't know these street names. The fuck Even is Even I know name? that. And I'm a nerd. What the fuck is this, Compton? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I think it's my <laughs> wife and, 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 and Roy here, and uh, we won't have Casey next yeah, week. Yeah, but... sorry to anyone that watches the YouTube videos. Uh, that means Jay has to edit the video, so. <laughs> oh, it's going to be bad. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, so. In fact, um, I might just post up the raw fucking yeah. Periscope footage and call it I'm done. actually flying to California next week. Uh, I'm going to BlizzCon, if anyone knows fucking what that nerd. is. Uh, I, I hope, I hope you will Periscope live. And that's the thing. If anyone watches this, um, and they like that kind of stuff, I'm pretty sure I'm going to Periscope some stuff. I'm actually not going to the convention itself because I already did. And once you've seen it, you, you really don't care. I'm going more to hang out with people, but I'm, I'm staying right next to Disney world and like this huge mansion. So I think the first Periscope I'm going to do is just show you the house I'm staying in. Cause it's like 15 bedroom fucking, like I was saying earlier, uh, before the show started, they even have a. Um, um, uh, open mic night stage in the house with the, <laughs> if you with the guitar like, you yeah, can play if you want to do like concerts and shit it's fucking ridiculous so you know look out for that and stuff we'll probably do it I don't have my own Periscope channel yet but uh, right, we'll I, probably do it on here I think if I can convince uh, Roy here to, to do it then our next uh, after party hangout for patrons only we're going to do the prison cooking show yeah that's a really good idea right. and I think Trevor's drunk Roy you will get a floppy <laughs> dildo and like it alright Trevor's right, wasted. Guys, <laughs> we will see y'all next week. Remember, become uh, become a patron on patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on openly ho- or uh, follow us on Google Plus. Follow us on Facebook. You can get us on all the things. And if you're a band, you play in a band, you know somebody in a band, you want to be our band of the week. How many times can you say send band? us an email? <laughs> Fourteen. Band. You use the subject line band. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you to our Patreon. Thank you to everyone that follows us. Uh, th- Greg wants to thank Heroin. And uh, <laughs> shout out to heroin. <laughs> we'll uh, see you next week. Thank you, everyone. Have a good one. Bye. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions Podcast. <laughs>
we'll see you. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs>